Ring. It's glitchy. Welcome to Quick Quest, a series of guides where I explain how to conquer various side quests and trophies. In this episode, I will go over how to get Sora to level 100 for all those sweet, sweet abilities and level master trophy. Wearing XP boosting items are welcomed accessories. If you're playing on beginner, you would have received one already. The others are obtained by finishing 100 Acre Wood, defeating the Mysterious Man, and others are synthesized. If you're looking for guides on how to obtain these items, check out the card section for videos about those. The guide will consist out of two ways to level up, one pre-Hollow Bastion and one post-Hollow Bastion. The reason being that after you've cleared Hollow Bastion the first time, the battle level will have increased in all worlds and added different Heartless in different locations. So if you've come for either of these ways, check out the description for timestamps to your specific guide. If you want to level up quickly before tackling Hollow Bastion, this can be due to the fact you're playing on Proud and have some difficulty on tackling bosses, you can actually go to Olympus Colosseum. If you hadn't cleared the cups yet, these are a great way to level up. Either do runs with the whole party or do solo or time trial challenges. The Hades Cup gives by far the best experience, due to the various Heartless it presents along with bosses. I do recommend that you finish up Hollow Bastion first because leveling post Hollow Bastion is extremely easy. To level up when the battle levels have increased, you need to make your way to Traverse Town and head toward the second district. The run will start when you head toward the hotel. In the hotel hallway, three defenders will spawn and you can either cast gravity on them and attack their backs or plainly jump over them and combo their backs until they drop dead. After, four wizards spawn that you also need to defeat. Then, you make your way to the red room, or green room for that matter, depending on where you are at the moment. Kill the Heartless in there, move to the other colored room, and finish the Heartless there too. Then return to the hallway to find the defenders respawned. Remember, Kingdom Hearts has a philosophy of room reset after visiting two other screens. So if you keep on looping here, you will level up in no time, especially with XP boosters. The thing is, this can get quite boring after a while, so to mix things up, you could go toward the other exit of the hallway and head to the gizmo shop. Sometimes wyverns appear here, so you can dispose of them as well. In the gizmo shop will be waves of heartless that are easily destroyed. Finish up here and return to the hotel to resume or restart your loop. That's basically it. By repeating this loop with an odd gizmo shop visit will net you a huge amount of experience and you'll level up in no time. Congratulations on getting this powerful and receiving the level master trophy. If you've beaten the Hades Cup and your first place, you can challenge previous enemies separately. This means you can select the Rock Titan as your enemy and keep grinding that boss. He's ridiculously easy to beat, just hit his heels until he falls down, jump up to beat his faces and repeat if necessary. Beating him grants 6000 XP and 8000 XP with all XP boosters. And every hit landed also counts as 1 XP. Happy boss farming! I hope this guide helped you out quite nicely. More guides will surely follow, so be sure to stick around for those. You can check out some other guides right here if you like. Leave your thoughts or stuff I missed in the guide in the comment section below. I will be there like always. Until the next time, stay safe and may your heart be your guiding key.